the lotus case hello friends welcome to sk study center and legal knowledge dear friends in today's video i will cover one of the landmark cases from public international law that is the lotus case friends i will cover this entire case law under four heads they are number 1 importance of case law number 2 short summary of the case number 3 facts of the case and finally the number 4 the judgment of the court so friends without wasting any more time let's get to the first point that is importance of lotus case from the exam point of view the lotus case is very important for all law students because students can cite this case law under various topics for example law of the seas states and jurisdiction equity of the states and customs as source of international law friends the lotus case is important because you can refer this case under all these topics now i'll give you short summary of the case the lotus case concerns a criminal trial which was the result of the 2nd august 1926 collision between french vessel ss lotus and the turkish vessel boskot as a result of the accident eight turkish nationals on board the boskot drowned when the turkish vessel boskot was torn apart by the lotus now i will narrate you the facts of the case a collision occurred shortly before midnight on the 2nd august 1926 between the french vessel lotus and turkish vessel boskot the french vessel lotus was captained by demons while the turkish vessel was captained by hasan bey and the turkish vessel had 18 nationals on board including the captain in the accident boskot sank and killed eight turkish nationals on board the turkish vessel while the 10 survivors of the boskot including the captain were taken to turkey on board the lotus in turkey the french captain demons and the turkish captain hasan bey were charged for the offense of manslaughter and the french captain demons was sentenced to 80 days of imprisonment along with fine the french government protested demanding the release of demons or transfer the case to the french courts finally the turkish government and french government amicably agreed to refer this dispute before the permanent court of international justice the last part of the case as well as the video is the principles propounded by permanent court of international justice or decisions of permanent court of international justice friends permanent court of international justice was established under the league of nations and the dispute was presented before permanent court of international justice on 7th september 1927 here you have to make note of the fact that there were no laws or international treaties that were established during 1920s in the international law for conducting the conduct of the another citizen or criminal activity happened on the high seas now the accident is the criminal activity and there were no precise laws in the international law as to deal with the lotus case also there were no clear guidelines or laws on the question whether turkey can conduct criminal trial on french national but however the loss of vessel was justified with the principle of floating island theories 
Now, let's see what Permanent Court of International Justice decided in the case. After hearing from both the sides to the case, the court propounded three major principles. They are, number one, a state cannot exercise its jurisdiction outside its territory unless an international treaty or customary law permits it to do so. Which means the state or country has no jurisdiction on the high seas unless it has signed an international treaty or any customary law permits the country or the state to exercise its jurisdiction on the high seas. Second principle states that a state within its territory may exercise its jurisdiction in any matter even if there is no specific rule of international law permits it to do so. That means the state within its territory may exercise its jurisdictional powers in any matter even if there is no specific rule of international law. The third and the final principle states that there was concurrent jurisdiction of both the states. Hence, Turkey and France both had jurisdiction over the criminal activity which had taken place on the high seas. Finally, the Permanent Court of International Justice upheld the decision of Turkish government as it has not violated any of the international law by convicting Mr. Demons. Friends, I have made this video very simple. Preferably, it is most suitable for law students for examination.